Hello in this house. Hello. Come hey, on Cindy. in. Hi. It looks adorable. Thank it is you. precious. Now, last Welcome. time I was here, I did not bring you my official housewarming yes. gift that I bring to everyone. So this is something that I've copied off of. It's a wonderful life. Oh, and, I love and it. yes, and I can remember Donna Reed saying this too. I think the I think the Martinez's. What's the plural for the Martinez? Anyhow, bread that your home may never know hunger. Mm -hmm. And it is our favorite sourdough, Stuart. <laughs> uh, salt that life may always have flavor. Love it. Flowers, and this is an addendum that I made. And these aren't real flowers, <laughs> but because you are granny chic, I got this for you because it just screams I love Leah. It. it is a little apron. Flowers that your home I need may an always apron. know beauty. Beautiful. It looks just like you. So and, and cute. Very, I know, kind of anthropology too. Yes. Yes. This is kind of a hodgepodge. Okay, then joy, a wine that joy and prosperity will reign for. Ever. And I, I think it. maybe I anticipate some mimosas in our future. Yes. And then a basket just because I everybody cannot have enough baskets. So true. And so there you go. Stuart, can we do a so little close sweet. up? There is a blessing for your home. I just print these out and I just have a bunch of them. I like those papers. Maybe. Yeah, your gossamer paper. Yeah. And then whenever whenever I do a housewarming gift, it just kind of depends on whoever the person is, what I give them. But I kind of, I kind it's of, so I perfect. know, well, come I on kind in. of like that. Let's see what's changed around here. Okay. Well, away. Stuart, let's take a break right here before we begin the tour. Yeah. How's that? You can get those things out of your hand and we'll Love be right back. My generosity with that bottle of champagne wasn't completely altruistic. We are here toasting Leah's new Cheetah Living Ensemble of Furniture. Yes. Her new couch and her oversized chair, and I have to say, it looks even better than I expected it's so it to. It's so beautiful. Isn't it just absolutely gorgeous? I love it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's so comfortable. It is very comfortable. They're so, the oversized chair we originally had in here, but the room is just a little too small for both of them, so we split them up. And, and I love little, it in there. I do too. We made a little reading corner, and we both work from home, my roommate and I, so we often are sitting in that corner working. And yeah, it's the perfect vibe in there. Yes, and it's, I love the way it then communicates the living room to this living area yes. or whatever it's and you can see both of them at the same time when you yeah. come in though so it really is is beautiful okay so i helped leah yes, um, full disclosure i helped leah pick out this couch um, and rather than a sectional sofa mm -hmm. like we did for my son and daughter-in-law yes. You wanted something a little different. I did, and this was perfect. You guys know I have my grandma chic vibe, but I love that this is a little of that, but it's modern, it's boho a little bit, which my roommate and I both are kind of that vibe, and it's comfy. It's Yeah, it's traditional. The other thing that I love about it, and what, which was one of the considerations, is that I think the wicker on it, yes. the faux wicker on it, it's looks so pretty. great, especially if you're a young person and you're decorating your apartment and you're really into house plants and you're into yes. greenery and things. I love the way it's got that kind of tropical vibe it then yep. of These the, the wicker pillows. and yeah, and all of your greenery. I also love, because I'm kind of into the blonde wood, mm -hmm. I love the blonde wood look. Yep. I think it makes it look a little bit more updated in conjunction with your other pieces that are yes. that are largely thrifted very much thrifted yeah but boy this feels like such such it good is quality such, i was honestly surprised when it got here the fabric looked different than i thought and it's better it's like a almost linen feel it's heavy easy I to mean, clean heavy yeah really really nice quality it would be great if you had a young family mm -hmm. yeah easy to clean so this is a polyester fabric yes. but that definitely reads linen yeah. reads cotton and it, i have to say it reads 
very expensive. It does, it's so nice. Just the weight of the overstuffed yep. pillows, you can tell this is not some just inexpensive kind of knockoff piece of right. furniture. Yep. It's really, really beautiful. And I love the rolled pillows I do too. on, the, on yeah. the side. The neutral color, this was another thing we discussed. Yep. First of all, I guess we really need cheers. To, to cheers Thank our you. Cheetah Living Sofa. We love this company. We really do. Yeah. Really love this company. And we love working with them. We do. Because they're they, so great. I know. They're just wonderful. But I another reason that we selected this color was that we really wanted a neutral canvas yes. so that any colors you decided to decorate with yeah. and that you you know you're young I you do may change, change my vibe you change a your lot. vibe you change your style you change yeah. your whatever and i think the thing aesthetically about this is that it's it will be very um transformative yes. you'll really be able to transform it from one style to another yep. from one location to another looks great with your neutral walls Thank with your you. kind of taupey gray yeah. walls um, what are some of the other features of the couch that you like it's been easy to clean so far which is great mm -hmm. um, it's it is very heavy and they were so kind to deliver it up my stairs at my apartment which I was thankful for that's great um, but it is so comfy I nap here Again, we work from home, so we work around here. And all let's the time. let's right here. Let's put the dimensions up. Okay. Let's yeah. put the dimensions up so people have it an is, idea. It is large enough to nap comfortably, which was another um, thing I was worried or not worried about, but looking for in a couch. So yeah, yeah. And you told me I think this is so sweet that you oftentimes watch your friends' little kids. Oh yes. And so the oversized chair is great so for snuggling cozy. and reading, yes. and the couch is is great for little naps. Yep. So and sweet. yeah, very, very sweet. But mostly I like it because I just think it's good looking. It the is. other thing I, I like about it is it's soft. It is soft. I mean, it has give to it, but it doesn't in any way feel as if you're just really sinking no, into it. Yes. It's a firm. Little, soft and firm. Soft and firm simultaneously. It's a little bit low slung, which makes it modern looking, mm -hmm. but it's not so low that it's difficult to get out of. True. Does that make Very sense? Very true, yes. So it's it's got Good just a, yeah it's got a great youthful youthful vibe to it. I just love it, and I think we need to talk a little bit about how you have styled it with your yes. thrifted finds. But let's put some of the some of the features mm -hmm. of this where people can get more information yep. on it. And I've had a lot of friends ask already where it's from. So. Yeah, you said that you <laughs> yeah. you put it up on Instagram that yeah. already so many of so your friends, friends had asked about yep. it. Yeah, I just I love I, I love it. And you've got it kind of styled with some golds mm -hmm. and some uh, kind of jewel tones. Yeah. But oh my goodness, if you want it to go just really neutral yes. with black and yep. gray or all white you or could do all, all white. Yeah, yeah, modern this, vibe. Yeah, this could take on many, many forms and many different styles. Yep. So uh, let's toast to the cheetah living Cheers. furniture and living the cheetah, cheetah life. This, this is one of my most fun things to do, and we are we are going to do what we are calling. Sip and style. Sip and style. Or, or sipping and styling. And Leah just got a brand new couch. We did a mm -hmm. video on it um, on uh, Cheetah Living. He got a yes. brand new couch and an oversized chair. Yes. And you've recently moved in, and now we are just styling things. We are having it, so much fun. It is so much fun. Um, I just love to do this. I was telling you that in high school and in college, I worked my way through school. One of the ways was, was working in a, a gift shop and I would do the displays and things like yes. that. So these kinds of things the are- skills that, came to you. It, well, compositional skills, but more than that, just the joy of really making some place so hospitable, mm -hmm. so homey with very, very small changes. Mm -hmm. Some of which I think are tips that you can steal from just looking at any kind of catalog mm -hmm. or anything like that. But um, we digress. Yes. Let's talk about some of the wonderful things that you got on the most recent 
thrifting adventure we went yeah. on, how you have styled them, but then also some things that I have noticed as we've been playing mm -hmm. that you might want to put on your future yeah. thrift list. And we still for. need to put together that that permanent thrifting list yes, of things yes, that we, we always we always look for. Yeah, it's not like we're busy or anything. <laughs> okay, so what do you say? Let's toast let's and let's begin. It. We are sipping mimosas. We are. Yeah. Um, Thank you for the champagne from the bottle of champagne I brought as a housewarming gift. You had some orange juice, and I, mm -hmm. I'm going to guess these glasses were thrifted. Were they, they? Were thrifted? Yeah, my roommate picked these up. These were actually one of the first things we bought for our new space, and she got them at a garage sale right before we moved in. So we have mismatched goblets and glasses and we've had little dinner parties and have them all out on the table. For, so. And literally for pennies. Yes, pennies. Yeah. Literally for pennies. It almost makes me wish I were starting all over yeah. again. And in my first apartment, in my first house, yep. because that was before I, I really did any thrifting. or mm -hmm. I, It was before thrifting became very popular, I guess. Yeah, it is so much fun. And it, honestly, I think the couch is maybe one of the only... Maybe the only thing in here that is new, that's brand new, that we got like without thrifting it or being gifted it from a friend right. or sourcing it secondhand somehow. So. And if there's anything I would want it to be new, yes, same. would be a couch, same. anything typically upholstered, maybe not yeah. a chair, but and a mattress. Yes, <laughs> same. Yes, so let's look at some of the things, how you've styled yeah. them. Um, and maybe some little added touches yeah. that, that, um, where I kind of put my, my, yeah, your touch on it. Let's start over here because okay, a lot it's of so people cute. will remember. Okay. When you come, first of all, when you walk in, it's kind of a focal point. It is. Yeah. And that table we thrifted on our first thrifting video together when I just started with you and so many people commented about when it may have been from, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it. And I'm so glad that I did because it's been moved around and um, it we has, moved it just today. We did just move it. Yeah, it was in that corner. Um, and yeah, everyone loves that table. Everyone said it was grandma chic. And it does, I think my grandma had a similar table when I was young, which may be why I, I like think, it. I think mine did too. Yeah. Stuart's did yours. Yep. And yeah. I love it. Um, yeah. That plant and that little figurine have been sitting on it since we got it. So let's talk about the tension between yes. grandma chic and modern. Yes. So first of all, if, if you are looking for a really easy care plant, yep. a Z plant is we love so it. easy yep. to take care of. She has grown so much. Just, and it, you've got it in some really good light, mm -hmm. but it can practically grow in almost complete shape. Yeah. So if that's a challenge for you where you live, I love this white, yep. okay? And I, I'm surprised. This is plastic, and I would have sworn it was mm -hmm. porcelain. Yep. So that's great. And this was probably thrifted? I don't, that was my roommate, so I'm oh, not okay. sure. But okay. this fiddle leaf I picked up the other day as well from Home Depot. You told me they were on yeah, sale. Yeah, I sent her a text, so. and I said, 9 on one there's a great deal. And it's like $29. It's so pretty, yeah. A fiddle leaf. Big. This picture is from Marissa, who's our artist that we love that, in Paseo. She makes those home collages. Yeah, and, and is, the little cottage. You yep. guys may remember that she made the little home home cottage collage. That's hard yeah. to say. And I've had that piece for years from her because I've always loved her work. So, so it's yeah. fun. And then let's talk a little bit about. I love this vase because I also I have the little figurines. You do, you have I have the little, little ones. Yes, yes, and I love the contemplative mm -hmm. because I know you meditate. This has got a kind of a contemplative yeah. vibe over here. A little pop of white. Yeah, and then just and and things always look best in threes. Yes. So you've got love a little that. triangle yeah. going here and a little bit of nature. These are real mums mm -hmm. speaking to the season. The other thing I love about this from a practical standpoint for storage and things, it does have this second yes. tier and you don't have anything on it. Yeah, we usually but, have books in there yeah. sometimes. Or now they're on the coffee table since we got the couch, but there were books in there before. Yeah. 
I, well, I just I just love it. And then I think your friend Linda gave you this one. Yes, mom. you did. And that basket we found together last week or whenever we thrifted in the last video. Yeah, isn't that? I and just love this basket. so perfect. I'm so glad we picked up all those baskets. I am they too. have all been getting I know. Used. In fact, there was probably a few we left behind yes. that we're going to have to go back and revisit. I, I personally ascribe to the philosophy that you can never have too many baskets. I agree. I, agree. I got that from my second mom mm -hmm. and I, I fully believe it. But I love it because... This is clean, but it is also very much a personality of granny chic, but a little bit modern, modern. and simplified. You don't yeah. like things that are overly fussy. No. So no. I think this little corner is great. But I have to say, I love I love this little grandma chic Thank corner. Thank you. I've had that chair since my first apartment ever, and my dad's had to repair it, but it was thrifted, and this little table's from online. And I mm. love the way you did this little touch here, Thank you. this little flower, yeah. because what is this? It's a color echo. Oh yes, a color mm -hmm. echo. Yes. This is like, a very, what? this is a very catalog magazine. It thing is. To do. Yes. yes I, and that little stool we thrifted the first video we did together too. So your color pops are kind of jewel tones. Yes. Yes, are kind of jewel say. tones. This basket we thrifted together. Yes. First video, my blanket basket. Linda, this is a style chair, right? Some name for this style chair. Yeah, it's a postmodern, would you say? Mm -hmm. Postmodern yeah. chair. You know, 60s, definitely. Yeah. This I thought vintage. about having it recovered, but I haven't done that yet. Well, the, I just love the texture. And and this is, you You were telling me that this kind of gold, which I see in the glasses mm -hmm. and things, is kind of one of your pop of colors yeah. and very autumnal. Yes. It's very autumnal. Now, I think you stole this idea from me. I did, yeah, a little <laughs> cocktail. It's just so nice to have here to put a little... I know. I know. Cup. In the morning, the light coming in, you're sitting here having your coffee. So easy. Yeah. yeah. And moving around. Yeah. It's um, a cozy corner. These candlesticks you gifted me for my house yes. a few months ago, and I love them. We'll try to put, I, if these things are still available, yeah. and by the way, um, you know, I hate, hate to sell like I'm giving an infomercial, but if we recommend something and you really like it, yeah. then you might want to order it right away because sometimes we recommend things they and very surprisingly to, to us, they <laughs> yeah. sell out pretty quickly. So, um, so we'll try to put links below because yeah. you guys normally ask for them. So, um, yeah. so hop on it, but I love these I do too. and we kind of, at first they were kind of clumped together and yeah. we spread them out to I have a little it. bit more negative space which also does something that we did on the mantle at my son, Jamie and Taylor's house. It creates beautiful shadows. Yeah, it's so pretty. And great contrast of the black against the white. Okay, now here's something else that I brought that may be familiar to some of our, our viewers from last Sunday, oh, yes. last Saturday or last one of last weekend's videos. Okay, this is one of my, my leaf bouquets that we made and I gave it just a little spritz of gloss enamel and I love the way it autumnalizes it so much and it gives kind of a seasonal quality now this looks like a piece of art that's from a is this a mountain range it is a mountain range that was my roommate she spends a lot of times in the a lot of time in the mountains so I love it piece. Yes, I love it. Yep. So this is my gift to her. I love it. My little homage made out of collected leaves and also some dried iris leaves that mm -hmm. had had expired. You and can then decorate my mantle anytime. I can decorate her mantle anytime. <laughs> and then just a simple piece of beautiful dried corn. And then because we both love Santa Fe in the Southwest. Yes. And, and I came in, and this is one of those touches I just... I love so much because it shows that you as a hostess have gone to the extra effort to greet your, greet your guests. And I came in and immediately I said, I smell pignon. Yes, always burning pignon here. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love pignon incense and it's just wonderful. And did you get that in Santa Fe? I think, or, yeah, yeah, on the way out of Santa Fe, there's yeah, a It's little, a classic a kind of shop. souvenir, mm -hmm. which makes it both uh, stylish, uh, stylish, what's, what's the word for things that are kind of... Um, Nostalgic? No. I to come up with I know. <laughs> oh, you guys come up with it for me. That is kind of cheesy. Oh, uh, yes. Salt and peppers from the 50s are like, like kitschy, this. Like, kitschy. Yeah. Kitschy. 
a little kitschy. Yeah, yeah, it's a little kitschy, but it's perfect. It's I love it. perfect kitsch for for your decor style. I love the way you have put your books in here like this. Thank you. Yeah, we we've talked about doing little styled um, moments in this mm -hmm. fireplace because it doesn't work. Um, maybe for Christmas, like a little Christmas theater gifts, little themes. Yeah. Yes. But for now, we've just put some. Old so books. let's talk a little bit about the the vintage. Of, so she lives in a really hot area of mm -hmm. Oklahoma City near yes. the Plaza District. Yes. Um, of older places that have been renovated mm -hmm. uh, to rent out. And do you happen to know the vintage of this? I think this probably was like 1920s, 1930s. Okay, 1920s. Yeah. So it's got all of the features. Years old, the original wood floors, which I am obsessed with. Obsessed yeah. with, and they must have re, they must have yeah, refinished, refinished them. them. So anyhow, they at that point in time they thought it was very modern to mm -hmm. not have wood burning fireplaces mm -hmm. anymore, and they a lot of them have gas jets that have been yeah. cut off. And uh, I will say this fireplace, I'm not for sure that this one is, but I know a lot of the houses in this area were done by Frank Oma. Oh, and yes. My old house was the original Frank Oma fireplace, and this one might be Frank Oma and was painted over, but I'm not, not for sure. sure. But a lot of houses around here had Frank Oma but fireplaces. Regardless, it's beautiful. I love your idea of making a little seasonal theater out of this. And speaking of seasonal theater, Stuart, right here is where I want to put such a fun idea that Stuart did in his own home. Oh, yes, Stuart. To oh, give the illusion of a wood-burning fireplace. Yeah. It is so fun. Compliments of, <laughs> you had some faux logs, and then you got... Oh, they're real logs, they're just not lit. <laughs> they're real logs, but, but then you light. Have, yeah. it's, just, it's just an LED light. An LED light. With a wireless switch. But it looks like a flame. And it makes it look like a flame. And yeah. even if you are intimating the mm -hmm. idea of a fire, I think it makes it's it so cozy. cozy. Yeah, yes. so we might need to replicate that here. And and then this is probably a thrift store this coffee table. It. My friend Ben goes to estate sales all the time, and he probably picked this up at one and gave it when we moved in. And it very so. much matches the vintage of yeah. the chair, so it's great. And then you have a couple of cherished books. I do. What was <laughs> this one? Yes, what a Elegant and an edible, edible garden. garden. Always represent. That is actually always there in our Joshua Tree, which is my roommate's book. So my work and her work. She goes to Joshua Tree a lot. So so she's a wedding photographer. She's a wedding photographer. For destination and, weddings. Yeah, for elopement. So she travels. She's in the mountains right now. She's yeah, out wedding, west. So. Yeah. I get the place to myself a lot, and we have it's a the good... the best of both worlds. Yeah, we have a good Best rhythm. of both worlds. And I brought you a white pumpkin because yes. you just need to have a this white we pumpkin. This last week together amongst all my little... Uh, little treasures. ...that I got. Yes, yeah. your little treasures. Okay, let's talk about the style of your bookcase. Um, I recognize this. Yes, that this, basket. Yes, this is one of the baskets. Um, I, I love how you have styled your bookcases, and it's got undoubtedly lots of of thrift store finds in yes. it but talk to me a little bit about what you're going to do and hopefully you will do this for us and take some video of it yeah. for halloween yes i am working on spookifying my shelves which i'm trying to balance getting halloween things and also thinking about storage because i don't want to know where to store it all for the rest of the year but we do have a garage and some closets so I try to be mindful about how I spookify or holiday shop. Well, and maybe you can just layer the yes. spooky on top of things yes, that you which already I've done have in my here. Room. We'll show you. I've okay, done that which in my room. so I think that's an idea to the extent possible if you can leave what you have in place. Yes. Now, a friend of mine gave me this tip, and she would say that when before she would put out all of her Christmas decorations, like on her mantle or some mm -hmm. of her bookcases or whatever, she would take a picture of what they look like before yes. she put up her holiday decor. That way she could reference it, and if she liked it, she could put things back in the same place I so like she didn't that. have to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. But the composition of this, the way you've got things layered, mm -hmm. um, the textures of it, I think look great. So I will very much um, like to see it after after you have spookified yes, it. we'll do it. I'm gonna add some candles. I also have so many, a lot of these are my roommate's books, and my books are still in storage, so. We need more bookshelves, but yeah, for yeah. Now. But oh, I can see. I mean, easily, I can see how books like yeah. *The Count of Monte Cristo*, which is one of my son Johnny's favorite books of all time, um, I can definitely see how you 
can kind of Halloween, yeah. Halloween, give this a Super Halloween fire. vibe. And then this is one of my favorite pieces that you've Thank got you. in. My dad built this, I designed it. And you will see another piece that I designed and made my dad build. Um, <laughs> we have a fun little relationship going of me designing things and then forcing him to build them. So he built this for my last house and it was made specifically for record players. Um, I used to have like a system down here and the records to fit up here and the record player on top. Um, but we just, my roommate got this record player online. Um, and so we got a smaller one and my incense, it. this basket we thrifted. We thrifted, yes. And it stores all my incense. I thought it stored your love letters. Yeah. <laughs> We needed a bigger one for you that. You needed a bigger remember. one for that. Yeah. Well, I love it. We'll put, try to put a link. Yeah, I love this little turntable. And it yeah. would be such a good gift. My roommate actually got it. Her family gave her an Amazon gift card for her birthday, and she got that. And so it'd be a great gift for someone. Can I ask how much it daughter. was? Yeah. I think it was 50 or 60. It wasn't super crazy. Wow. And yeah, we both were wanting a record player and that was the good And you've one. already got some of the vinyl. Yeah. And then you even put modern legs on yeah, this. What are these, these called? These Paper are from, clipper. These are from Amazon. These legs. These legs. What are some, those called? They're called um, uh, paper clipper. Yeah. Paper yeah I can't clipper. remember. There's yeah. our question of the day. Somebody out there is hip enough to know what, what those kind of I legs forget. are called. I I'll think of it. But the one in my room has the same legs and my dad ordered them on Amazon and then built the piece and put the legs but on But you there. could also thrift a piece that looked yes. similar to this and you could modernize it by putting the, some of those kind yeah. of legs on it. And then as just a little smile present, this is my, I, I, I got these online and they came in a huge batch and this has been my little smile present. Whenever I visit I somebody it. now, I'm bringing them these. You could use them either as- touch. Yeah. Yeah, you could use them either as bathroom towels or for me. My, and your foraged finds? Yes, I brought her some more foraged finds. And you said that you are going to have, maybe have a Halloween party. Yeah, so yeah. this, you're gonna deck out as your bar. Here's the champagne yeah. I brought. And then these are probably this thumbnail glass. I love, I love this. These. these came from the same cellar as these, yeah. Yeah, I can remember drinking right, it these. The because it's got these thumbnail impressions. I actually knew, I just wanted you to tell you. <laughs> okay, it's very <laughs> satisfying. It is, it really is. When growing up, when we used to have big spaghetti dinners, uh, my second mom, she really liked to stage things and entertain. And, and when we were little, they would drink their red wine. She'd put on Dean Martin, a red and white check tablecloth. And then all of us, and there was a big group of us, mm -hmm. there would be, would be ultimately like 12 of us that she would set the table and then they would drink red wine and we would get like half an inch of red wine and the rest seven up in glasses Aww. like this that were red and clear. And we thought that was so cool. Yeah. We thought we were so cool. And it's one of my happiest memories of yeah, growing up. So yeah. And then you are obviously rooting propagating. some yes, monstera they're... leaves. I had a monstera that got a little too wild. So I've been propagating a lot of them. And then a postmodern, and I love this, having a mirror right as you're about to come in or mm -hmm. about to go out. So I, I love this as a place for vignettes. I yes. just love everything about it. And here, look, you've even staged my, yeah. my little housewarming gift. Okay, let's take a break here and then let's do just a quick review of the rest okay. of your home. Stuart, can we kind of get do a full 360. <laughs> You've got great light in here, which is Thank very, you. very important, and I love that. And here you go. From top to bottom is my outfit of the day, starting with my Sunnies, my new favorite online find. I've already bought four pair of these, not all for myself, some for Christmas gifts and stocking stuffers, but I absolutely adore them. And I love the way they fit. I've talked about this before because they don't slip down on your nose when you put them on. Now, this is probably one of the best thrift find scores that I have ever gotten. I got this at Goodwill. It is a leather suede jacket. Look at the wonderful thread and detailing work. There's probably an official, 
official terminology for that. I don't know what it is, but I love the way it looks. It's got a very Native American kind of feel to it, very Southwest vibe. And I love the way that it is cinched at the waist. I really love it. It's also lined and I love the high collar on it. And I got this, I think it was all of $10 at Goodwill and it I've had it for years. It's got a, it also looks very Ralph Lauren, I think. And I just love the way love the way it looks. My sweater is uh, partially cashmere. It's a cashmere blend. I got this off of Bowdoin many, many years ago. And just an undershirt from who knows where, probably Hanes. Um, my britches. Okay, if those are my favorite sunnies for the season, these are my favorite britches for the season. I love these on so many levels. I bought them in another color as well. I love the pockets. I love the way they are high-waisted and they look great if you're wearing just kind of like a light blouse and a light sweater like this one or something kind of big and chunky. And I love the way they look with what I consider to be a signature touch of mine. I love brown leather accessories. I can't remember where I bought this belt, have had it forever, but my britches I did buy online. They're the perfect length for boots, for booties, and my booties. Okay, where did my booties come from? Boy, I've had these forever too. These are 268 Alexis, whatever that means. Um, have no idea, but I love them. They also are kind of a brown suede. They're easy slip on, slip off, and I just feel like I kind of have an autumnal vibe going. My earrings were from Target. My ring from Madewell, and this is just an Apple Watch. I'm still waiting to have my, my tortoise shell Apple Watch band, some of the links taken out of it, so I can wear that to complete the autumnal vibe that I've got going on this outfit du jour. Okay, this room I love because I, I think it is just, everybody needs a room like this. Yeah. Well, you don't want to be in a living room. You don't want to be in your bedroom. You're not sure exactly. where you want to be. And this is a great room. And this makes me love you even more than I do when you told <laughs> me, because I know you have so many friends with, with little ones yes. and that you often babysit for them. I do, yep. And that this is the chair that you sit in when you read yeah. to them because it's just, this is a one from Cheetah Living. Yeah. And that two of you can just really cozy up in here. It's the perfect size. I was gonna say, this is perfect reading chair. I love it. We moved it in here specifically to be a little reading corner. And all the little kids know when they come over, if they open this cabinet over here, there's a basket of toys for them. So that's a Linda touch, a Linda Leah touch. Oh, yeah. that just makes me so happy. Okay, so let's talk about what you need to have on your thrifting list. You yes. definitely need an ottoman. Yes. And maybe you told me you've been looking for a rug a here. A rug. And yeah. I was thinking your stuff's over here. We talked about a little rack to hang jackets and things yes. when people walk in over there. Yeah, so yeah. That's on the list. Yes, a coat rack. We talked about pictures. Yes, or orange juice. Yes, yeah. that we that um, if you stage your bar and mm -hmm. you're going to have mimosas or something, then a, a, you could find an inexpensive glass pitcher uh -huh. that would just be wonderful there. And then always on our permanent list, trays, yes. little what I call match bowls, mm -hmm. um, things like that. Baskets, but I just yeah. baskets. But I just love this room. This is probably a thrifted table. Yeah, this was my roommate's mom gave her that. So and then. This Thank lamp I spray painted white. Oops, there's a little cute. Thing there. um, it was black before, and I wanted it to match everything more, so I got some spray paint and taped it. And this is one of those kind of things, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money, so not only go to thrift stores, but thrift your basement, yeah. thrift your closets, thrift where you thrift your brothers and sisters yes. homes, thrift your friends homes. Um, I told Leah she needs to come over and, and we need to look just through my stuff. Stuart yeah, too. Thrift Linda's. Thrift yeah, Linda's <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah. That would be a fun video. That would be a very to fun video. Thrift your yeah, I, I could kind of basement. see where you could put some stuff here. And this is, I, I gave this to Leah, this is a cheat. So this is a real orchid. I've showed this cheat before. This is a real orchid. It's, it is alive. 
but the flower expired. So we just put a faux, she was touching it like, is this real? I couldn't or, tell. Isn't it? It looks so real. And we real. just put a faux flower in there. So then it still has a lot of life it really is left so in this orchid. And then I've just mulched it, mulched it in moss. And then over here, is this probably a thrifted find? This, yeah, a friend um, sold her store and she sold me this and this shelf for very cheap. I will also say I need pots because I'm propagating all these. Yes. And I have run out of pots. So that is okay. something on my permanent thrift list. Well, we might need to thrift Linda's basement yes. to see if there's something in there. Okay, this is something that might seem counterintuitive, but I think it's really valuable. All of us need a piece of furniture that is very useful and that we don't find overly precious. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, I don't really care if it gets yes. circle stains on it from the plants. Right. I want it to look beat up. Yeah. I want Again, it to look Again, this is aged. where the kids color their coloring books yeah. around here. So it's going to get beat up. Yeah, it's going to get beat up, but intentionally so. Yeah. I mean, you can you can find something, and that's what thrifting is great for. You find something that is intentionally pre-loved, but that you want to get even more loved and yeah. even more beaten up. So then I don't worry if I've got a coaster underneath my plants. Right. I don't worry if it gets scratched up that just adds to the lore mm -hmm. and it adds to the story of that piece I love it. Yep. yes yeah i don't know that i wouldn't even let some of their some of your younger friends write their names yeah, on here that, or inside and, yeah, yeah and draw little pictures on here that i think that sweet. would be the best kind of graffiti ever mm -hmm. um so i i love this and and again you've got great light i love the way you can look out your windows and you can see the little ghosts yes that are hanging halloween yes halloween ghosts that are hanging outside we I always say we feel like a tree house in here because it's surrounded by trees, which a lot of Oklahoma City does not have this many big trees. And so it's the advantage it. of living in an older neighborhood. And mm -hmm. I'm just now seeing from up here the gorgeous rock work and brick work on what has invariably got to be a 19 something, oh, yes. 1900s house. I love that house. Okay, so you've got other little biblos around here yeah. that speak, that Shops obviously and... speak to you. Yep. Um, and I love, I love this kitchen. I, I love, love this little nook. I love our breakfast nook. My old house had a breakfast nook that I was obsessed with and my family lived in England for a long time. And so we always You were had born a, in London. I was born, yeah, in Liverpool. Yeah. And so my old house, the breakfast nook reminded me of England for some reason. And this house, when I saw that it had a breakfast nook, I was like, yes. And it's Perfect. got, it's surrounded by windows. The light in here is great. This is what I, I just envision sitting here reading a newspaper yeah. on a Sunday morning and then having... <laughs> In my dream world, I could be the husband, and I'd have this cute <laughs> wife who would come in in oh, her yeah. little 1950s apron, and she would bring me my bacon and eggs, you know, as I say. It's happened. <laughs> yeah. Or I could work the opposite. Yeah. I could be the Someone wife sitting here, breakfast. and the husband could wear the apron yeah. and bring me breakfast. But I, I love this little nook. And you started to say something about oh, this, this table. Oh, this was from Facebook Marketplace for $20. Another um, and great. This table, yeah. These chairs my friend gave to us. Yeah. So. And I love the way you've got your potting soil. I know. I just re I repotted all my my monasteras late the other day. So my potting mix is still out. Potting mix. And this is the kitchen. So cute. So cute. I love it. I love this. Is kind of your granny you chic in here. Way? Yeah. Yeah. And and what else do I especially love before we close out? What do you especially love? Look. Oh yeah, my Does this look familiar? I had to tell her that she needed, it was like this when we got here. And I had to tell her, oh Leah, you need to turn it so that the light. Okay, let's make a quick stop in your cute, cute bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then we'll close out this very fun tour of Leah's apartment. Come on in, Stuart. Well, we're decent in Leah's bedroom. <laughs> we're decent in Leah's bedroom. And there's really fun stuff in here. Welcome. So, Come on in. So starting with, okay, this has an interesting story. You saw a similar bookcase. Yeah, there's a very popular bookcase from Urban Outfitters. And it's called, I think it's called the Isabel Bookcase. 
and I've loved it for ever years um, and it kind of has a faux concrete look and I wanted it but it is like Trey $1,200 or something which Trey shout out Trey yeah expensive. Trey expensive um so I just asked my dad if he could build me one <laughs> and he did what a so, it is always a good like thing. A cool dad. He's yeah, the, your honestly, dad sounds like a great dad. dad. He's about to retire, I think, and I'm. Ooh, more I'm time like, for no, I mean, like, fun. More time we for We can Leo's start projects. a business. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so I love this, and then you, and, and then you painted it. I painted it. Yeah. So he made it, and I. Um, put some texture in it and painted it. Yes, and and she's a gal who loves her western vibe. Cowboy boots yep. actually wears them. I love the way you've got both storage here and yeah, and and decor. And this one you've already started to spookify. I have started this little spooky candle. Some yeah. I love him up here. I love, I love this little ghost I found at CVS and it was four dollars and he lights up. I was like, I okay, need you ha he must be him. yours. I know. I just had. To I might him. need some of these too. Yeah. CVS, really? Yeah, CVS. This brands. we we thrifted this together. Yes, this is so dear. This, this is lavender from Washington when I went on a road trip and it smells so good. Oh, yeah, and you got this the other day. Was this I a did. Trader Joe's thing? No, I don't know. My friend gifted me that. I think it is a Trader Joe's thing. Okay, cute. You, you might need to get more to spookify. Yeah, in the living room. Yes. I I oh, that was a thrifted in. find. Yeah, these little pots we thrifted. And they look great in They're here because so this has cute. kind of an adobe oh, look to it. Yeah. Pictures from my traveling, yeah. more little spooky guys. This is London, of course. Yeah. This is such a youthful your generation vibe. Thank you. It very much my your hats generation. Up there. You've got great hats. Thank you. My yes. cowgirl hats. Yes. Um, yeah, these mirrors are from Amazon. Really? I think so. Well, I'll find the link. I'm pretty sure I got those. Okay, because somebody, somebody this will ask. Together. Oh, this is the one you accused me of stealing. Yes. Hold on, so i got to show the mirrors. Okay. <laughs> okay, and this was I don't know. Right. Oh, that's Zodac. The, that's, Zodac. That was your favorite the story. Potion right the here. magic potion one. Yeah. I love it. And this it's plant. so it's delicate. Like yes. Sense of area, aka mother in law's tongue. And these yeah, are these little thrifted one. This I made. And pottery. Really? This had yogurt in it. Alright, what'd you make? This one I made in pottery. This, this is, is a yogurt, yogurt. Thing. Yeah, I, I, the somebody European was telling yogurt. me about these. They're from, you get them at 30th Street Market. Oh, okay. And then they just make cute little, cute little things. vessels. Also, we need this for later. Yes, cute little <laughs> vessels. And another hat. And you play guitar, guitar. Another hat. And here is my favorite piece that I bought. Did you full get this price. online? I got this online. It is one of the only things I've paid full price really for. Because cool. I knew exactly what I was looking for. For a, My bed is so low to the ground that I wanted a nightstand that would match the level. And it was really hard to find one. And, and I this. wanted some storage underneath because I always am reading multiple books. And yeah, so I found that this online. This is very Barcelona Gaudi. Yeah. It looks, yeah, it's got these kind of curved, curved lines. And it I also love... is for outdoors. So oh. I figure that in the future, if I'm in a different space, it can always you can be, be outdoors. an outdoors piece. And yeah. then I love, love, yeah, I love, love the bedding. You. This I is from a bedding. company, yeah, called Own Cody, and they sent it to me and I, I love, love this. I love probably what are thrifted pillows. Yeah. Well, that one's from Target dollar section. Really? Yeah. This one is? Yeah. And the other one I think is actually Urban Outfitters. Yeah. Who knew? Oh, those this are high This was end. one of our thrifted frames Today's and I got that day. print off Amazon and put it in there. Okay. Very cute. Very grandma chic. Grandma and then chic. we'll close out because this is just, I would have killed when I was your age to have Something like this, or when I was young and in an apartment. Wait a second. There we go. <laughs> the outside, which yes. you can see. Yes. My landlord's gardening moments yeah. down below. Oklahoma City. This is what I it's like it. living downtown Oklahoma City. And you can hear the birds. I, I sit out here every morning yeah. with my coffee. 
because you get east light. Yeah, it's wonderful. Watch, yeah, the sunrise wakes me up coming yeah. in. So, well, thank you. Yeah, this thanks for so coming by, fun. guys. This was so much fun. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, be kind to yeah. one another, and be a good hostess like Leah. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>